Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Gonna talk about quick hitches today. Have some questions about uh, compatibility, all right? And so we've talked a lot about quick hitches, but the issue persists, and so, kind of what I do. Consumer awareness, and I wanna go over attachments that are not quick hitch compatible. And so, just brief overview, this red chunk of painted steel right here is a quick hitch, all right? And so it's a, an easy interface in between the three-point hitch on your tractor and a three-point attachment. And now while I think it's pretty safe to assume that 95% or more of modern day tractor attachments are quick hitch compatible, there are a handful of attachments that either cannot be compatible or are not manufactured to be uh, for one reason or another. Maybe it's because of um, how the unit operates or maybe just a, a lazy manufacturer. So anyway, before you buy one, I want you to watch this video and make sure you have a full picture, the best understanding, and it's kind of a complimentary video to how to verify if your attachments are quick hitch compatible. And we've got dimensions in our, in our listing. I've done a whole video on, on what to measure if you need to, but for most of you, it's gonna work fantastic. But let's give you that full picture. Let's start now. Before we tell you what's not compatible, I wanna give you a quick rundown, just kinda of go around the line here of all my attachments I have out here at my property. Any of the three-point attachments that are three-point mounted, I wanna tell you which ones are compatible and which ones aren't, just really quick. Here we go. Okay, so first one up here is gonna be a, well, a gigantic uh, MK Martin snowblower. This is a pole type blower, gonna put it on my big Kubota. You can get them a lot smaller as well. This one is quick hitch compatible. Category one and category two, actually. Next up, gonna have a 60 inch land plane from Dirt Dog. All their land planes, all their attachments actually are quick hitch compatible for category one. Uh, the bigger ones are gonna be Cat 1 and Cat 2. Right here, we did a video on this. This is a Titan fence line trimmer. Kind of mixed results on it. Um, got better as it went along. Not a lot of fun to use. This guy is not quick hitch compatible. Done several videos on the ideal 48 inch tiller. This bad boy is quick hitch compatible for category one. Same thing with the Dirt Dog landscape rakes, like everything else they sell. Uh, this is category one quick hitch compatible. Dirt Dog uh, four foot disc right here, category one quick hitch compatible. Dirt Dog all purpose plows. Got a, what is it, a three shank and a five shank, four foot and a five foot. Both of them are quick hitch compatible, category one. Couple more items here, have our electric spreader. Yep, you guessed it, quick hitch compatible. Dirt Dog pulverizer, also quick hitch compatible. Both of those category one. All of the Dirt Dog pluggers are gonna be category one quick hitch compatible. Same thing with their brush hogs. You guessed it, category one quick hitch compatible. This right here, I'm not exactly sure. This is an MK Martin, it's called an axis arm, all right? And so we're gonna put this on the back of the, uh, the big Kubota here and then tie in our five foot brush hog to it and it can swing all the way out, get into a ditch on a hill, angle, all that fancy stuff. I don't know if this one's compatible or not. I probably wouldn't anyway, uh, just given the huge sideways torque motion, everything else that can go on there. So uh, we're gonna say no for that one. Dirt Dog Tiller, we have the five, six, and seven foot. Those are all category one quick hitch compatible. Uh, split fire log splitter, we showed that recently. That is also category one quick hitch compatible. Might as well show you, nothing to do with quick hitches or tractors, but uh, we got Luke's. 350 sighted in, actually this was Luke's and a buddy's. They were both shooting, started at 80 yards and 100 yards, got them dialed in. Luke's last three shots here, here, and here. I'd say he's good to go. Youth season opens next weekend. We've featured this a couple times. This is a cedar, the cheapest one that I could find. Five foot cedar um, off of Amazon. It was like 2,200 bucks or something, but unfortunately it is not quick hitch compatible. Last item up is gonna be a Colta Packer. So, Here's a good example of something that is category one and category two quick hitch compatible. You can see the inner spacing is gonna be category one. The outer spacing is category two. So you can see the, visually see the difference there in the width of what a quick hitch needs to be to connect. Okay, so first one that is not compatible also made the most hated list of tractor attachments. And you're actually not gonna see one of those out here because I hate it so much although I'm gonna make a video on it sometime soon because I've got to use it. And that's gonna be a post hole digger, all right? Or a PhD, an auger, that kind of thing. Something that mounts on your three point hitch, but that comes with an asterisk because a post hole digger, PhD, requires you to remove the top link from your three point tractor setup. You're gonna mount a post hole digger to the base of where your top link would normally go, right there. It's a, a different kind of a unique setup in the uh, the tractor attachment world on the three-point side. So you're really kind of doing a two-point tractor portion, and then uh, the third point is tying right into the base of your of your tractor there. So because of that, there's not going to be any quick hitch in existence that will work with one of those. So next up are going to be some of your 
your cheap attachments or kind of your goofy ones, right? And so uh, this Titan fence line trimmer definitely falls into that category. We tried to hook it up to our quick hitch and it just wouldn't work. It was off by just a smidge. Uh, we had a, a cedar that we got off of Amazon. That wouldn't work. That was a cheap, like the cheapest cedar out there available. Unfortunately, not compatible. King Cutter is known for their subcompact line of uh, attachments like tillers and, and um, box blades, that kind of thing, that are not compatible. The pin spacing is too narrow. It's, that's the kind of thing that drives me nuts because it does not require any more effort to weld on pins in the proper location, the proper width, the proper height, that kind of thing, versus welding them in a less than ideal spot on the attachment. So they're just doing their customers a disservice and a lot of those folks don't realize they're not compatible until they get it home, try to hook it up to a quick hitch and it doesn't work. Now recently a customer of mine that bought a quick hitch found out the hard way his attachment wasn't compatible and you know he just didn't happen to see all the spacing and the dimensions on the website and he had a king cutter. And it's like I get this message once a month I feel like you know from customers that have one of those, I think it's the XB line that is not compatible. Don is doing something about it. In fact, if it gets done in time, he's gonna send me some pictures of his little uh, makeshift uh, modification to make that attachment compatible, but it's just a very frustrating thing. Most attachments like what we sell here are gonna list themselves as being quick hitch compatible, and that could be category one, category two, or both. So look for that information. If you don't see it, it's worth asking the question. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, next one up are gonna be uh, things that kind of side shift in a way. And so what comes to mind are gonna be side shifting flail mowers and stump grinders as well. All right, so you have a PTO shaft that is centered on the back of the tractor and that shaft needs to be able to swing to the left or to the right, depending on what you wanna do with it. And so a, a quick hitch is a fixed piece of steel that kind of gives firm borders of where that PTO shaft can swing. And most of the time that doesn't allow enough space for the PTO shaft to swing over far enough to fully utilize what's available on the attachment. And so my thought, and I don't know this for sure talking to a manufacturer, but what I would do is I would intentionally make it so that you can't hook up a quick hitch to one of those attachments. That way you don't accidentally swing the PTO shaft too far to one side and bend it, or if it's actually you know, spinning and you offset it and it just kind of wreaks havoc and blows apart or something catastrophic happens, it prevents that kind of situation from occurring. So the flail mowers that we sell like Del Marino are not quick hitch compatible. Uh, the Balmalite stump grinders. The 1P24 is compatible because it does not swing, but the larger version like the 3P24, it does swing and therefore it's not compatible. All right, so next up, three point finish mowers going on the back side of your tractor, not a belly mower, but these I don't really have a good answer on why they're not compatible. Uh, some folks have found a way with like a floating top link adapter to make them or to allow them to hook up. Um, oftentimes the lower two links will connect, but the top one won't. You know, a finish mower's, <sighs> I don't know, a bit of an anomaly, I guess, in this whole scenario, um, whether you really even need it to raise up off the ground or not. Uh, when you're using that attachment, it's riding along the ground, right? You're, you're following the contour of the ground, the undulations, um, they kind of they kind of free float left to right as well. And so if your PTO can handle it, I really don't know if it's necessary for your three point to have to pick it up all the way. So if you connect to those two lower links and you do get a floating top link on there just to, just to make that connection and it doesn't pick it up, that's probably okay for most of you. And I am, random note, gonna interject something just about the finish mower. A while back we did videos on it, on the, the big eight foot finish mower, and um, did have a customer actually recently who bought one for his 1025R. The 1025R picked it up, it operated it great, he reported back with some, he was a very happy customer, put it that way. So you could potentially run that eight foot mower even on a little 1025R. And I bring that up because he knew ahead of time there was a chance it may or may not pick it up and he was okay with that either way, but turns out it could, so he's all set. Backhoes are gonna be another item that is not quick hitch compatible. And for the smaller tractors like the subcompacts, your BXs, your 1025Rs, that kind of thing, you actually remove 
all of your three-point linkage to install the backhoes. You start to get to some bigger um, models or bigger series of tractors, and you're going to leave your three-point on. Um, it just kind of helps tie in and stabilize it, but there's even for the, the frame-mounted versions, you're still going to leave some of those um, parts of the three-point linkage on, but you can't put a quick hitch in there. It's not going it, to... It's, it's just not designed to do that. It's not riding and mounting to the three-point hitch. Um, it's mounting to a subframe, and, and sometimes, again, I'm, I'm thinking the, um, the John Deere 3R series, for example, kind of uses those bottom two uh, three-point arms as, uh, well, I guess, maybe the additional bracing or stabilization, something like that. Um, but yeah, not gonna be quick hitch compatible. Okay, folks, so I wanna show you this really quick. This is a little accessory that we made uh, for the quick hitches. So I have a quick hitch here off of my 1025R. We have one of these mounted over here. And so this, this rail, you can fit three suitcase weights on either side. So we can put this one on this side as well. And we'll do that. Just want to show you what the product is. They're called hitch hangers. You can put uh, three 41 pound or three 70 pound weights on there. That way it's out of the way of your three point setup, right? So if you want to put an attachment on here, you still can. If you need additional ballast weight, this is a way to get it without tying up the three-point hitch. Um, if you want additional down pressure, you know, say you have a landscape rake or a rear blade and you want more, you know, cutting power or, or just more aggressiveness out of it, you can add weight to kind of push everything down a bit that way too and get that out of it. So really easy to do. You just kind of work your, your uh, arm there just a little bit one way or another. Snug fit intentionally. It's on there, goes right back down. Where's my hardware at? All right, so easy stuff. Two nuts, they're locking nuts, okay. Two washers in your bar, just a half inch socket on there. You just tighten them down and you're good to go. Now we do have a version coming out for the iMatch. Um, the geometry of the whole thing is different. So it is specific. This is a square tube, fits the Spico, the Harbor Freight, similar hitches to that sizing. The eye match is totally different. We're gonna have those any day now. So again, these are something you can leave on. You can see they're out of the way, uh, not gonna interfere with the PTO shaft kind of going through here and hooking up to the back of your tractor. Nothing in the way of the three point. So a nice uh, setup there and a way to get additional weight. Now I mentioned the, the John Deere eye match being a different construction um, and requires a different version of the hitch hanger. So again, that's coming soon, but that does remind me, I wanted to tell you about the John Deere ballast box and its compatibility with the Spico, which again, uh, the Spico, this version here doesn't require bushings. So you don't have to add on those expensive bushings to all of your attachments. It's one of the benefits. The John Deere ballast box will fit with the Spico quick hitch, but the pins are not quite long enough to put the Lynch retainer pin through there. Um, while there's not enough room for this to slide left or right, it can't fall off of there. It is kind of an anomaly where I don't know why they didn't design it to be just a little bit wider and like a standard dimension, but they made it a little bit narrower. It will fit, but you can't get those retainer pins in. So category one attachments are not gonna be compatible with category two quick hitches, just like category two attachments are not compatible with category one quick hitches, all right? So there is no cross compatibility there that you can do. And the reason for that is twofold. Number one, the physical spacing between these bottom two arms is closer together this way on a category one and further apart on a category two. So these two locations, these two arms and hooks are gonna to be too close together. A category two pins are gonna be way out here and so vice versa. A category two quick hitch would be way out here. It wouldn't connect to a category one. And number two, the pin size is actually different. So a category one pin size on the lower links is seven eighths of an inch. On category two, man, I think if I remember right, it's an inch and a quarter could be an inch or an inch and an eighth, but somewhere around there, it's bigger in diameter overall. So that's the other issue, the other reason for it. Um, a common question too is, uh, can I hook up category one and category two to one quick hitch? And again, for the reasons I mentioned is you cannot, right? So this is one fixed rigid spacing. I think it'd be really awesome if there was a way to make a quick hitch compatible with cat one and cat two. Doesn't exist right now. Don't know how popular it would be. You really only run into that on maybe large compact tractors like a L6060, a 4066R, but more commonly in the smaller utility tractors like a, a John Deere 5E series, a Kubota um, M series, that kind of thing. Unless you've got something goofy, all those utility tractors are actually gonna be Cat 1 and Cat 2 compatible like uh, the big Kubota you can see back there. Yeah, right now we actually have a category one quick hitch on it even though that's 
a big utility tractor. So you can run a Cat 1 or a Cat 2, but you just can't do both with one quick hitch. Now the last thing I want to mention, it's worth pointing out again, you're going to see direct pin fits to these bottom hooks. The top hook is still oversized, and I like that. Uh, the reason being is it's going to make connection to your attachment a lot easier. I don't ever have any issue with something falling out of there, sliding out. It's just never happened. It's not an issue at all. So I think the benefit of making it a little bit easier to kind of find that sweet spot and get hooked up to it um, is a really big benefit and there's no downside to having it oversized. I don't have any issues. I don't have customers with issues. It's not a big deal at all. Now I'm sure you're thinking, I've got attachments that are old, they're not compatible. What can I do? Well, that's when a good solution would be the Pat's quick hitch system. Um, if you have a lot of modern day attachments that are quick hitch compatible, I think it's hard to beat a Spico quick hitch, for, for example, this one here. But if you have a lot of the oddball attachments or uh, the old attachments that are not compatible, look into a Pat's quick hitch system. It's not exactly the same thing. It is going to take some of the paint out of there. Uh, some folks love it, some folks hate it. We do have a lot of folks that switch from the PAT system to the Spico, but it is an option for you to consider. One last thing I want to point out, just because it does get not brought up a lot and you wouldn't think about it, it's not typically an issue. But normally, if you were connecting your attachment directly to the three-point, it would be right here. And so now that connection point gets pushed back about four and a half inches, all right? So if you have a PTO shaft, so for a brush hog, for a tiller, that kind of thing, or even a, a rear snow blower, you're gonna need an extra four and a half or five inches of length or, or overlap on your shaft in order to work properly. Rarely is that ever a problem. But if it is an issue, you can get something from tractorptolink.com. The PTO link, it's a system that essentially goes on the end of your PTO shaft and then the end of your tractor's PTO shaft. It's gonna lengthen out the shaft five inches make up the difference of the quick hitch and so you can avoid getting a new pto shaft for your attachments if you're one of the rare folks that runs into a situation when you're not going to have enough overlap on your shaft and it requires you to get a longer shaft you can avoid that go to tractorptolink.com save five percent with code gwt Alrighty, folks that's going to wrap it up for us today hopefully you found this helpful on what it can connect to and what it cannot connect to why don't you have the full picture the best understanding before you get that equipment again Lots of information, measurements right in the listing on our site, other quick hitch videos that we've done to help give you the best visual. I'm a visual learner, so hopefully that helps you in that same manner. And if you're looking for a quick hitch or a attachment for the three point or the front end loader, we'd love to earn your business. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. If you enjoyed today's video, you like tractor videos, we'd love to have you tag along completely free. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh,